ladies, ladies and gentlemen, many thanks to come and uh, follow this presentation about 3D printing. My name is Georgi Marković. I'm a Serbian guy. I'm uh, living and working in Switzerland. I'm working for 3D Systems, the company who is a world leader of 3D printing solution. Uh, I'm uh, on the head of engineering in Switzerland and I'm working on uh, material production, on resin and printer development on testing and all those stuff. So I will explain you a little bit about 3D printing because actually it becomes a big boom. Everybody talk about 3D printers and everything, but uh, the result is the 3D printing technologies are exi exist for more than 30 years. And we will start from the beginning with uh, application and all stuff. Well, so today we will speak if my presentation work. Okay, we will speak about beginnings, about principles, how we print, what kind of uh, technologies we are using, what kind of materials, uh, type of printers, price of printers, and all applications developed with 3D printers and use, uh, use with 3D printers that 3D printers are used. Well, about the beginnings, uh, the first serial beginnings were in uh, 1986 by one man called Chuck Hall who discovered that we can polymerize the liquid photomers, the liquid plastics and uh, we can uh, put the layer on the layer and uh, give, uh, receive and have some 3D object. So uh, Chuck Hall uh, started with a small company uh, called 3D Systems and uh, he worked on his first 3D printer printing machine and he developed a process called uh, stereolithography. Uh, stereolithography is a process who use liquid plastics in the big vat and we will polymerize with the uh, uh, ultraviolet uh, laser layer per layer and when we uh, do this we get 3D model. I will uh, show you some video who will talk about this. And before this, uh, 3D printing is what? From a CAD model, from virtual model to the real model. Uh, as you can see, uh, 3D printing parts are used in automotive industry. Uh, more precisely, uh, we have uh, Formula One teams who uh, design their parts who print their parts to make the physical test before they uh, make uh, the real parts they, they will put on the uh, Formula One. Uh, in car industry, we have uh, also uh, manufacturers of uh, auto, you know, in, uh, manufacturers who will design the new prototypes using 3D uh, printers to print all uh, design parts, uh, dashboard, uh, all plastic parts in the car for first car are made first in 3D printing before validation of the concept. Uh, you agree that before we start to manufacture uh, one car in 20 million examples, we have to make a first prototype to validate it and to see uh, how it behaves, to correct the faults and after that we continue with uh, industrial <laughs> with production. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, electrics and electronics. All devices we have today, simple mouses, iPhones, uh, the mixers, every electric, electric, electric electronic device, the frame of this uh, uh, screen. Uh, first, they are designed in uh, 3D actually. And after that, we're going to print them to validate the concept, to see if we made some errors. Because if we made some errors and we go on the mold uh, injection production and we re realize that we made an error, we lost a lot of money. And actually, uh, the 3D printing saved us the money. Here you will see the procedure of 3D printing with liquid resins. So we have a layer per layer polymerized by laser and once it's finished we have our part. The advantage of uh, 3D printing to uh, other 
manufacturing technologies is that we can really print, manufacture in real everything. I mean every shape, every form. Uh, it's doable with 3D uh, printing that we can not maybe manufacture by other industrial procedures. So you can even print uh, some uh, bearing who is in plastic, who works uh, in uh, like one part and you don't have to assemble or something, you just, uh, or some uh, gears in gearbox, you can also print it in one part and it works, it turns and uh, it saves a lot of time to the manufacturers for uh, development of new equipments and other. Uh, one of uh, procedures also used in, in industry is uh, SLS or selective laser printing. That uh, means that we have a polyamide plastic powder in a vat and we have one infrared laser who will melt layer per layer. This is in the uh, industrial uh, world the cheapest uh, 3D printing and the parts are uh, very similar the resistance of the parts and the equipment is very similar to the mold in, uh, injection production. That means that we can uh, manufacture some finished parts that we can use in our assemblies and all the stuff. Uh, we will see how it works. A CAD design is transferred to the center station. A roller then deposits a precise amount of powder over the build area. The laser centers or almost melts the powder to form a single layer of the prototype. The build area piston lowers and the roller deposits another layer of material to be centered. This process continues and in a matter of hours the entire part has been built. So that means that you will uh, melt one layer, after that you will bring a new uh, layer of powder, we will melt it and we will increase this up to uh, our part. The manufacturing time in 3D printing, uh, the main uh, the main uh, parameter for manufacturing time in 3D printing is the height of the part. Uh, as the part is uh, higher, uh, that means it has more layers and with more layers it brings more the time. But actually we are uh, working with some uh, manufacturing times very uh, correct. I mean we can design a uh, dashboard of a car for in two days. After that we have most part uh, cleaning and preparation, but it's other subject. About the 3D printers, we have everything. The most of the people heard only about uh, Rapman or uh, open source printers for a few hundred euros that we can uh, order on internet, buy by ourselves. But uh, in reality, the 3D printer starts from thousand up uh, euros up to. Uh, one million. As you see on the slide, we have personal, professional and production printers. Personal printers, as the name says, are for uh, schools, are for uh, the people who want to just start with 3D printing and the quality of the parts is not something very uh, exceptional. The layer uh, thickness is around uh, 0 0.1 millimeter and we have 3D parts, but uh, the finition of those parts is just to show them nothing more than this. After that, we'll go to uh, professional printers where we have printers that will print a lot of kinds of plastics. We can print also metal. We can actually, NASA made also 3D printer for uh, astronauts to print the food. So we can print everything what we, we can imagine, even the ceramics and all those stuff. After that it depends also in what field of industry you are and you will find your solution with 3D printing. When the hammer is only solution, think about 3D printing. 3D printing started to be a first step in rapid prototyping and it finished like a solution for uh, industrial production. If we uh, can't make some parts on other way, then if, if we don't, if we can't make the, some parts, 
with uh, conventional uh, miling and uh, drilling procedures, we will start with 3D printing. And we can find the solution, even with metal parts. And it will save us the money and the cost. Because in industry, when you have uh, some uh, uh, production stop because of uh, something bro uh, broke uh, and we have to repair it, less time we spent to make the system running again, less the money we lost. That's why we have we use the 3D printers even for metal. Uh, one example is the parts. I don't know, do you, can you realize what is uh, pl injection plastic mold? In, inject in injection plastic mold we have a uh, lot of the times some shapes hard to get with uh, miling, uh, conventional miling and it can take up to five days so, and when you, if we print the part in metal, we can do it uh, in less than one day. So we saved four days of production. That's why maybe the part will be uh, more expensive in the start, but at the end it will be a cost-effective solution because uh, we had four more days of production. About people, companies, who work with 3D printers and 3D printing solutions. We have people like Airbus, Nissan, BMW, Videx for uh, ear hearing uh, um, devices, Siemens, and the list is much bigger than what we can see here. I mean, I didn't have enough of slides to show you all clients we have. Uh, I think that uh, car industry is one of the, and medical industry are one of the biggest clients, also with Airbus and Boeing. About materials. Well, as I uh, told, we can print in every material we imagine. We can print the small and technical parts. We can build also big, big, big parts. Uh, we can have uh, materials resistant to temp temperature up to 100 degrees. So uh, the material properties are even better than what we use like a plastic in the production. Uh, we have also bio we can have also uh, materials that are uh, compatible with human body and we can use uh, 3D printed parts even in, uh, during the operations of patients. We can validate the structures. For molding industry, it's very important to have uh, uh, 3D parts and 3D printing for jewelry, for custom-made jewelry also, uh, because imagine uh, some prince of Dubai who wanna have uh, his exclusive uh, wedding ring for his lady. We're gonna design it in a CAD software, in jewelry CAD software. After that, we're gonna print part in the wax, uh, his ring in the wax. Once the ring is printed, we're gonna make a sand mold. We're gonna heat this. We will melt our uh, shape of our master, uh, our printed part, and we will keep the shape. Then we will come with a uh, melted gold and we have the perfectly designed ring. And about the resolution of printing, we are around 0.0. 0 0.2 millimeters. That means two hundredths of one millimeter. So we can really do everything with a 3D printing. Okay, the price is still uh, <laughs> the biggest problem of 3D printing, but we can do a lot of things. Uh, what we have now? Let's start with uh, personal printers. As you see, uh, personal printers start with uh, small prices. They are very simple. And uh, how it works, it's to ha we have just ABS plastic, extrusion head who will heat and melt the plastic and put it on the plate layer per layer. You can see kind of toys that we can print with them. We can also have uh, three colors of ABS and combine, uh, make combination of colors. And it can be nice, but those parts are not for some technical use or you, we cannot allow, use them in uh, any serious project. 
the big advantage of 3D printing is that helps a lot of people in school, in education. I mean, even the doctors are printing actually the bones and the parts of the human body to show to the students. If we can print all, all, even with the colors, with 400 colors, so we can print whatever we imagine and we can show this to the people, we can make the people understanding how it works. If you wanna, uh, if you're an architect, we can print the whole quarter we designed and we wanna construct. So the advantages are huge. We can see the people, the final client can see how it works, how it looks like, and then we can make some corrections because the corrections are easier to do during the um, during the CAD design process process than once than when it's finished and built. All right. What the fuck? Ah, oh, fuck. We have some technical problems, but we're gonna solve them, I hope. And yes, uh, during a crash test, one good example is a 3D printed part and serial production manufactured part during a crash test. We have similar results and that uh, allows to us to design, uh, for example, a kid's seat to make the tests and after that when our uh, tests are, uh, satis when we are satisfied with our uh, tests, shock absorption and the rest, we, we will put this on in serial production. So you can see here that with 3D printing we can test a lot of things in safety. So that means that's quite serious technology. Otherwise, here is one example between one conventional uh, made part and one 3D printed part. On your right side, you will see 3D printed part, on left, uh, assembled part. As you can see, uh, you need, for normal part, you need four tools, you have four non standard parts that you have to manufacture. 12 uh, standard parts, you have assembling work, you have a glue, and time and the money it costs something. Uh, if you print your designed part with 3D printing, you have the same part with same characteristics, but it's only one part, you don't need any tools, your uh, part is ready to use. One more advantage about this. Uh, about uh, hilt equipment, we started to use uh, 3D printing also in uh, for hilt equipment. Uh, from uh, ear uh, ear plugs to uh, in dental uh, industry, it's also used for leg prosthesis. Also for supports, I had a question from uh, one. Uh, hospital in Switzerland who asked me about some materials because they wanted to make the guides uh, for bones when they have to do some operations and they want to drill uh, the bone under a certain angle. Uh, they want to print those uh, positioning parts in 3D printing because every bone on every human is different so here we can really adapt uh, everything to the patient, final client. and. It, it, it's in progress. Otherwise, uh, Google and 3D systems are also in a, on, work, on project of a line of cell phone, smartphone assembling, where you can online uh, configure your cell phone and behind there is a production line with 3, 3D printers and everything and they uh, automatically manufacture the a smartphone solo your, uh, by your specification if you want a small big screen uh, color shape and all the stuff um, well with 3d printing there was a lot of technologies developed around that made the uh, improvement in uh, food industry because now we can even print the sugar parts that's very interesting for example for uh, some uh, custom made uh, wedding cakes. We can print the bride and the uh, guy uh, in sugar 
but before this we can scan them in 3D with only one iPad and small 3D scanner. After that, uh, pottery design software uh, is developing also, so we don't do any more the pottery by our hands, we design it with the software, and after that we print it in ceramics. So if I want to have uh, some uh, custom made dish plate, uh, I, will, uh, I will just design it, export my CAD file to the printer, print, and it's done. It's really to make uh, the match between a virtual and conquered real world on paths. Uh, about 3D scanners, we have actually the 3D scanners that we can use with mini iPad with the uh, price of those scanners is around 300 euros and we can really uh, scan everything, even, a col even colors. So for example, if, if I take you, I can scan you, completely have your 3D shape and I can uh, print a figure of you with your eyes, with your uh, shape, with uh, your beard, with everything. So we can do really uh, 3D photography, with uh, physical photography with this. I mean, uh, the people say there's no limit. There are the limits, but the limits are higher and higher. As I told before, if we start to manufacture the food with the 3D printers for NASA, let's make, let's make some improvements and progress in this science and technologies. Otherwise, I can show you here on the next slide. This is, for example, printed cups, ceramic printed cups on the right picture. On the left picture are just uh, some sugar cubes, also 3D printed. And uh, the price of those uh, machines is not so high. It's really affordable to the people who is concerned bakeries and pottery, uh, people who like to do pottery, it's around 10,000 euros. So those machines are really not very expensive and they're democratic, democra the, they put the prices lower just to make them affordable to everybody. So actually uh, before we had 2D, print, 2D, uh, 2D printers and now we can buy for our home small 3D printer, make the parts, the toys for the kids uh, let them uh, design and uh, introduce them in 3D printing and 3D world from when they are young. I don't know if it's good or not, but it's what's actually happened. And um, yes, 3D printing is a very, very big, uh, it's not a big science, but <laughs> it's, uh, uh, there is a lot of activities in 3D systems, so uh, in 3D printing, so I think that we need more than 40, 45 minutes to uh, check everything. But if you have any questions about 3D printing, I'm here to answer for them. Ako ima te pitanje, pitajte. Tu se. Well, there is a few pr procedures, pr Procedures are different, but main principle stay uh, the same. It's a uh, matrix time vector. That means that means layer per layer, and after that we get a uh, part. If we have wax materials, the all uh, parameters are not the same. If we have uh, acrylate materials or if, or if we have powder materials, I mean there is a few kinds of 3D printers. So, uh, but the uh, principle is layer per layer. So that's not change. For uh, even if you want to print titan parts or plastic parts, we will do it layer per layer. Well, about ceramics, this is a technology uh, came out two months ago. It's not officially presented anymore. And unfortunately, I cannot give you more details about this till uh, final release on Euromold in Frankfurt this year. And if you are there, you, can, you will see me probably on the 3D system stand. Well, uh, for every printer you have uh, more or less one, for plastic uh, print uh, materials you have one kind of printer for uh, po uh, for ceramics, ceramic printer for um, metal powder, metal printer. It's really every material has own parameters, printing parameters and uh, co 
configurated printer, so it's 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 similar, but it's very different. I mean, when you if you are buy some professional printer, uh, you can't uh, and you you have a, a range of five um, printing materials. You can't really uh, even if it, if it supports five uh, printing materials of six. If you decide for one printing material, you can't really change uh, with every bottle of new material. Today I want to use this. After that, I want to do this. And actually, we have uh, we made a lot of improvements, and we have uh, online material mixing. So that means we have uh, our CAD file assembly. I mean, some uh, uh, even uh, small car assembly, and we uh, we will customize the materials for wheels, for uh, the body of the car, for everything. And uh, during the printing procedure, uh, the materials will be created for this pa part of the car or this, pa this pa part of the car. Here we can optimize, and even with rubber, we can uh, print the rubber. A harder rubber, a softer rubber, uh, and uh, here we can optimize. But we talk about machines uh, that cost around 250,000 euros, more or less. With uh, small uh, personal printers, for cheap uh, printers, we have uh, ABS material, like material, or PLA. Uh, and the only thing what we can uh, modify is uh, layer thickness. That's all. Uh, to go faster and have uh, worse resolution, or to go slower and have some nicer resolution. Otherwise, it's really uh, for professionals when they decide one material, they, they know why they why did it. And we can't really change this. We can, but it's two days of work to adjust machine for a <laughs> new type of material. Because some things are not fully automatic yet. Any other questions? Yes? Well, uh, yes, for sure. Uh, the 3D printing is used to to decrease the costs, to not spend too much money for validation, to validate some concepts. For some parts, uh, it's cheaper to print them than to uh, start uh, pr production of them. Uh, there, 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 there is a lot of calculations, so you have graphics. Uh, how many, uh, if you make 5,000 parts with 3D printing, it it comes cheaper than to make all industrial process for those uh, 5,000 parts. Because those 5,000 parts, if you're going to manufacture them uh, part by, uh, like uh, unique parts, it will cost you a lot of money and time. And in, in the industry, uh, everybody want to uh, lose less of money. And uh, <laughs> so <laughs> that's why, for example, uh, Bosch uh, drill machines, you have the shells, left and right shell, right? Uh, imagine uh, with 3D printing how it works. We will design the part. Okay, we're gonna print it, both parts. We will see them, we will assemble them, we will put the electronics, mechanics, and we have a prototype of our drill machine. And uh, uh, for uh, the holes for um, screws, if they are dislocated left and right side for one millimeter, and if we didn't see this during a validation of our concept, and we made the molds for a serial production. First of all, we started to manufacture something. We need to do it, and we have to repair the mold. And mold reparations for this kind of molds, it's very expensive. And we are talking about uh, uh, thousands and thousands of dollars, euros, whatever, uh, whatever currency you want. So that's why. Uh, no problem. Well, uh, 3D printers are using uh, STL files, stereo lithographic files, uh, and uh, that's me. But we have uh, our CAD uh, software with, with which one we will design our parts, convert it in uh, STL, and after that, because the STL it's um, yeah the basis of 3D printing files, and after that, we, with every 3D printer comes a software for processing where we will just put our uh, 
part on the on 3D printer, simulate, check everything, and then we start printing. It will convert in his own protocol. And every company has own uh, processing protocols because this is uh, some industrial part going very, very fast, developing very, very fast, and everybody will save the money and keep the or everything for themselves. I mean, it's... Uh, The parts, yeah. or the yes, for sure. There is a lot of uh, uh, service bureaus uh, worldwide. You send them; they can make a quotation uh, online. You send your STL file. Uh, they uh, they tell you uh, delivery date, how it costs you, everything, and they will manufacture it. I mean, um, the, the I started with the 3D printing. Uh, my I touched first time uh, 12 years ago 3D printer. Uh, for a couple of years, I'm working in a company who manufactures 3D printers, and since I started to now, this kind of uh, manufacturing uh, workshops for 3D printing are just exploded the quantity of them. There is a lot of, uh, I think that even in Hungary there is two of them, in Russia, yeah, worldwide, it's really worldwide. In every country there is a 3D printing uh, um, workshops. So. Uh, you send your STL file, you say, I want this, uh, uh, five parts, how many it costs, you, give, give, uh, you receive all answers. And uh, I can tell that it's really not the cheapest of manufacturing process. <laughs> it costs something. If we go around the prices, uh, materials are going uh, okay for personal printers, kilogram of material of deci cubic uh, decimeter of material costs around uh, 70, 80, 100 euros. I mean, this is a selling price. The ABS is very, <laughs> it's very cheap. But uh, as they protect, they want to make the more, the more, more money they want. They protect it with some uh, chips inside, and you cannot, you cannot put other ABS uh, because you get, you get your cartridge with a small print, and everything is inside. And even if you didn't finish completely, but uh, after 50 meters, it has to stop. It stops. And even if you wanna, you don't, you can't even uh, smuggle and uh, use uh, your own um, materials because everything's protected by uh, uh, RFID labels, uh, locked. And uh, yeah, I mean, they sell you the li like a 2D printing, like like a normal. They sell you the printer, and after that, okay, we will sell you the material. And uh, for professional and industri industrial industrial uh, printers, materials are going uh, from uh, 300 euros per kilo. Up to thousand euros per kilo. It depends of the depends of the characteristics uh, properties of the materials. Uh, for example, some uh, Formula One manufacturers like uh, Sauber, Petronas, Ferrari, and others are using SLA machines with the charged resins. The, the resins are charged with uh, some granules of um, I cannot develop you what exactly, but. And it's very strong and it's very light. We have uh, one decimeter, cubic decimeter, uh, uh, weights 1.5 kilos. It's uh, even less than uh, titanium. It's very resistant, but a kilogram of this material costs around 1,000 euros. <laughs> and they buy something like 200, 300, 600 kilos in every two, three months. <laughs> so, yes. It depends on the properties of uh, what you want, but it's very expensive. Yes? This is uh, more, no, no, this is plastic material, uh, something like, uh, yeah, yes, uh, rigid, but uh, don't break so easily like a carbon fiber. It's between Kevlar and uh, carbon fiber, something between. And they use them for um, first for development, and after that, in Formula One, there is few parts 3D printed, but the most of them is carbon fiber, just because of the weight, because every gram in Formula One is important. So, yes, next question. For a lot of uh, 
parts in uh, industry, not uh, especially Formula One, yes, you use the parts directly after the printer. I mean, uh, I'm on head of uh, production side of materials in Switzerland, and uh, I have in the, in the industry on the machines 3D printed parts with the machines, the supports, a lot of things, even the things for ventilation. We can, um, we can even uh, make, uh, there is, uh, you go on the website of 3D systems, you will see even instruments 3D printed, the drums, uh, all structure of drums 3D printed, the, the, the guitar also 3D printed and all. And we can print the um, print all uh, parts we would do mechanically and after that put all electronics, electrics and have uh, functional prototypes. Yes, we have, uh, before this I was working in a company who was manufacturing, uh, who still manufactures inks for uh, security inks and we were uh, making, I was designing and making the, de the detectors and I was just putting optical parts inside and the rest was 3D printed or a rapid prototype made. So we can do really a lot of things and we approached really a, a prototype to industrial parts to use. And uh, the, this distance was before very, very, very big because 20 years ago, a 3D printed part, you look at it, it breaks. Now we have really functional things. And a lot of people buy small printers to make uh, parts for their copters. I mean, uh, my, one of my hobbies is skydiving. And I made some uh, supports for my GoPro cameras in 3D printing, and uh, it resists 200 kilometers of hour of uh, free fall and all the stuff. So it it works. Otherwise, uh, otherwise I would never say that works. If it, it 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 works really, yeah. Yes. It's uh, applied during the printing and it's applied on the first two millimeters of the part you print. And uh, we work with 396 colors and it makes very, very realistic figures, parts, puppets. I don't know dolls, call it how you want because it's still quite strange to see somebody to make the 3D scan of the person to print this and to see the same in plastic but realistically and just small. So yeah, it's 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 during the printing and uh, there is few procedures for this. One of these is uh, with some chemicals so the material change the color. We put not the color but uh, some solvents and it will just change the color on this. It depends on how many of solvents you put. Yeah. Uh, next question. Yes. Well, it depends for what. Uh, if it's some, uh, it sometimes it's not faster. But if you have if if you, if you have some holes for some blocks that you can't make with a drill machine because it's deep inside and you need some uh, curve and something like this, then the only solution is uh, 3D printing or like I showed on the slide before, uh, you need uh, five days, 20 tools, uh, 50 screws to make something look like. But sometimes we need only one block with a specific uh, structure inside and shapes inside, so only 3D printing can s helps us. Yeah. So it depends what you need. For some simple parts, it's cheaper to drill it. But for some very, very complicated parts, only way to do it is in 3D printing, yeah. Well, uh, probably it is a smart idea to invest in them, but otherwise I don't think that will change the molding and the uh, big productions. I mean, in China they will still uh, do a mold production, uh, not 3D printing for, uh, <laughs> yeah, they will still do the production, but 3D printing, first of all, will bring uh, some another way of thinking of creation and design. It will develop all, uh, 
techniques around the printing, like a 3D design with a 3D glasses and a pen, a 3D pen, and we uh, just design uh, in front, like uh, with. Uh, it will bring uh, it, yeah, it will bring us in some virtual reality, and for some uh, really specific parts, there where there there we can have uh, some. Uh, it will. It, it is very interesting. So, and otherwise, uh, the applications of 3D printing are the, are just are developed after 3D printing. We start with 3D printing 20 years ago to 30 years ago, because uh, to to make the life easier for mechanical engineers, more or less. Actually, we have uh, everything is printed in 3D and uh, with lot of materials, even. Uh, you can print go your, your in your bakery. You say I want this on my uh, cake. Print, can you pr please print me this? And they will print it. You can manufacture jewels, custom made uh, also, and uh, it's really a wide range of application of 3D printer. Naturally, specific 3D printers for specific applications, but it will uh, cover a lot of things, a uh, lot of of, of uses. But be molding production will still continue. That's for sure because we cannot have enough of printers to manufacture so many parts. <laughs> Any other questions? Well, then thank you for listening to me. I hope it was not so anno annoying and if you have any uh, questions, I'm here three days, you can just ask. <laughs>